Let's get you updated on the highlights. This game delayed early for about 40 plus minutes with lightning and Clement Weather delaying the start of Randy Moss's debut. Putting on the Vikings purple and white for the first time since 2004. Certainly making Brett Favre a very happy man. And Minnesota wasting no time. Some trickery. Very first play from the scrimmage. Couple of future Hall of Famers combining on a pretty nifty play. Brett looked pretty athletic on that play, I must say. He showed great hands. You remember, remember we were watching early when he was warming up and he actually ran a little pass route. We were laughing about little did we know. Right. right. Showed great hands. Speaking of the old gray beards, LaDainian Tomlinson still has some burst in that step, 17 yards. But Brett Favre pressured all night long, guys, and struggled to hold on to the football. Well, the weather conditions certainly did not help. The, the pass rush there that the Jets had did not help. I mean, we actually saw him, I think, the start of the second half. Ball just came out of his hands. Yeah, I think weather contributed, and the ball gets a little slick. This is second quarter now, about a four and change left. Favre fumbling the snap, which recovered by the Jets' Bart Scott. Favre just 3 of 7 for 31 yards in the first half, including two sacks. This is the Jets' ensuing possession. The rain really coming down at this point. Second and goal, Sanchez to Jericho. Cotchery misses him wide open in the back of the end zone. As Vikings will catch a break. Next play, third and goal, Sanchez throwing right out of the reach of Dustin Keller. You know, three field goals in the first half. You know, you held him. Minnesota defense held him nine points in the first half. You have to be happy with that. So 9 nothing Jets at halftime, third quarter, Vikings in auspicious start. Far fumbling the handoff to Peterson, never gave AP a chance. It's recovered by Revis, and he brings it back to the Minnesota 46. For Brett Favre, career fumble number 162, most in NFL history. Who did that moving pass? Warren Moon? Yes. Yeah, so, so what you notice, just going for the normal stretch play, the ball just came out of his hand. That, that does not happen very often. It was a night that, that contributed to it with the weather. And Randy Moss and Antonio Cromartie guys matched up all night long. And Sean, Cromartie held his own, more than held his own. You know, they took several shots down the field. And Cromartie all night long was right there in his hip pocket, and he made some plays. Now, this is Minnesota's ensuing possession, second and ten from their own 39th far play action, throwing deep down the field to Moss. But Cromartie is there once again to break up the play. This is the very next play. It's third and 15. Favre rolling right. Beating his man. That's Moss in the back of the end zone from Cromarty. 16 yards. And the Vikings are in business down the sideline. It's a 37-yard touchdown reception. And Minnesota suddenly showing some signs of life at 12 to 7. That was a third and 17, if I remember correctly. And they've been taking that shot all night long, trying to find a play, find something to spark them, and they finally hit it. This is Adrian Peterson getting to the edge. 30-yard gain for the Jets' 35-yard line. So 15-7 at that point. We go now to the fourth quarter. Vikings, same possession. This is second and eight. Far deep down the left side. Incomplete to Moss, but a penalty marker flies. Moss, the culprit here, called for the offensive interference. Two guys just competing. You know, they've been going, they were going at it all night. This is third and 19. Far to Percy Harvin, 34 yards for the touchdown. Before you give Brett Favre an inch, he's going to take a mile. And Vikings. And if you see that play, you, you see that play, you see Revis chasing here, Percy Harvin. He, he didn't look like his hamstring was completely healthy. He, he couldn't burst. I didn't see any burst out of Revis tonight. And I'm not sure it's just the hamstring. Remember, he missed all training camp, too. Vikings originally lined up for the extra point, then thought better of it. Went for two here, but it's broken up. Bob wasn't able to find his man, wasn't even close. I, I don't know why people go for two with 13 minutes to go in the ball game, and you're down to at that point. You're chasing points. Don't do that. Two possessions later for the Jets, second and nine from their own 35. Sanchez to Braylon Edwards for 16 yards. Three plays later, this is first and 10. Tomlinson over the left tackle for 16 yards. The fumble out of bounds, the Jets would retain. And Damian Tomlinson, both Sean Green, average over five yards to carry this game. And he looked good tonight. His legs looked strong, he looked healthy. And I mean, this Ward Minnesota defense front down. No, LT's been so good. Sean Green's been the forgotten guy, but not on this play. 23 yards for the touchdown, and the Jets at that point looking comfortable, 22-13. This is Minnesota's next possession, second and 15. Far pressure, throws short to AP. 20 yards and the Vikings' first down. Second and 10, Far 
And when they gave him time, Bard made some nice decisions. This is Greg Lewis down the sideline for 33 yards. And there you see Favre holding his arm. Sean alluded to that earlier. Two plays later, first and goal. Favre throwing left, finds Percy Harvin had a huge night. Favre still holding on to that arm, but he's got the Vikings within striking distance. Great catch, great concentration. I mean, putting your feet in bounds over the defender. That's, that's a great play. Harvin, five catches, 97 yards, and two touchdown receptions. Jets ensuing possession. Vikings don't elect to kick the onside kick there. Three minutes and change left. Sanchez to Santonio Holmes. I think they're happy to have this guy back in the fold. 11 yards, able to move the chains. Three plays later, third and 11. Sanchez pressured across the field. High to Braylon Edwards, incomplete. So the Vikings force the punt. Randy Moss and company getting the blood flowing on the sideline, trying to get on the same page. Just had the feeling that something special was set up for Brett Barbs and it was all Monday Night Magic. Not on this play. We, we needed that pass right there. I mean, Percy Harvard got away from the defender, Darrell Revis. And oh, but I, he catches that one with the real estate to run. He's still running. Third and five after the Jets were called on an encroachment penalty. Barb, another bad decision. Dwight Lowry. Second year man brings it back 26 yards for the pick six. And the game was over at that point. 29 to 20. Jets. Brett Favre, seventh INT of the season that ties him for fourth in the NFL. You see some of the numbers. Favre, first player to throw 500 career touchdown passes. Marino, second way back with 420.